When most people think of the Marines, they think of Marine Infantry. Marine Infantry is one of the world's most renowned infantries, bringing with it several capabilities to the battlefield. Every Marine is a rifleman, but not every Marine is an infantryman. You're about to learn an overview of one of the deadliest forces the world has ever seen. This video is going to go over what the Marine Infantry is, what it does, its capabilities, missions, jobs, opportunities, training, its recent and future changes, and much more. What's up everyone, General Discharge here. Today's video is going to be discussing the United States Marine Infantry. If you want to learn more about this elite fighting force, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Before we jump into it, make sure to take a moment and show us some love and support by liking our video and subscribing to our channel. Your support is our lifeblood. Do not hesitate to ask us questions in the comment section below. We check everything. The Marines use a full spectrum of combat with the ability to maneuver by foot or mounted trucks, assault vehicles, or vertical assault aircraft. The infantry units serve as ground forces that are capable of locating, converging, and destroying enemy forces. A Marine infantryman is someone you wouldn't want to mess with. If you could describe them in one word, that word would be tactical. Want to know what else is tactical? Tactical flashlights. That's where Olight comes in. Olight is a company that makes tactical flashlights for your everyday outdoorsmen, marksmen, and law enforcement personnel. With Olight's new Warrior 3 tactical flashlight, whether you're camping, shooting, outdoors, or you just like to see in the dark, this flashlight packs a powerful punch. This flashlight can go up to 2300 lumens. We're no physicists, but that's bright. Depending on the setting, the Warrior 3 has up to a 55 day runtime. Not only that, it's water resistant up to 2 meters, has a drop test of 1.5 meters, and contains a strike bezel in case you need to defend yourself. The Warrior 3 has a max throw of 300 meters along with the strobe mode, and this is all protected with Olight's 5 year warranty. It's super easy to use. Just click the button right here, or use the tactical switch at the bottom for extra convenience. To charge it, you simply plop the magnetic USB charger on the bottom of it. If you order the Warrior 3, it also comes with a heavy-duty pocket clip. Order now and you'll get a free keychain light and free shipping with orders over $29. Head over to olightstore.com and use our code GD10 to get a 10% discount, or click the link in the description below. Now back to Marine Infantry. Defined as a light infantry, the Marine Infantry has a lot of amphibious equipment and capabilities due to its close ties with the Navy. The Marines are in the Department of the Navy, after all. In many circumstances, the Marines will be on naval amphibious assault ships, constantly at the ready to deploy when necessary. Marine infantry is equipped for amphibious operations with assets such as amphibious assault vehicles, landing craft air cushions, rigid hold inflatable boats, and landing craft utilities. These offer various means to insert into combat from the ships they are stationed on. They are also trained in inserting by means of air, with all Marine infantry units able to perform helicopter air assault operations supported by Osprey or Sea Stallion helicopters. Marine infantry warriors are one of the most highly trained and lethal combatants on planet Earth. Thanks to incredible and effective training and support, Marine Infantry is able to fight in any climate or place, day or night. In order for you to better understand how Marine Infantry plays its part in the Marine Corps, let's look at the Marines' big picture. The Marine Corps as a whole is separated into four different elements the ground combat element, aviation combat element, and logistics combat element, with the fourth being a command element that is in charge of these three. These elements form a Marine Air Ground Task Force, referred to in short as a MAGTAF. Where does Marine Infantry fall into a MAGTAF? The ground combat element. In fact, Marine Infantry is the largest component of the GCE. The GCE is proportional to what size MAGTAF there is. A MAGTAF can be a Marine Expeditionary Force, or MEF for short, a Marine Expeditionary Brigade, or MEP for short, or a Marine Expeditionary Unit, which is MU for short. These are in descending sizes. The infantry is utilized within these various groupings. So let's take a break from the big picture of Marine Infantry and start talking about the personnel. Who makes up Marine Infantry? Infantrymen, duh. In the Marine Corps, these personnel fall under the O3 series, meaning that if anyone's MOS starts with an O3, they are infantry. Anyone outside of that is called a POE by the infantryman, which stands for for a person other than Grunt. The Marine Corps currently trains O311s, O331s, O341s, and O352s at its School of Infantry. We'll get to the school in a bit, but understand that there are various MOSs that fall under infantry, but these are the main ones you'll start off with. As for officers, a basic infantry officer is O301. Another MOS you may have heard of is an O321, which is recon. 
Yes, contrary to what some may think, recon marines are not special operations. They are infantrymen, but more so advanced infantrymen. Some marines in the O3 series are able to perform conventional maritime special operations missions, and are deemed as special operations capable, but they never truly fall under SOCOM's umbrella. An example of this is a maritime special purpose force within a MU. The Marines' only soft unit to date is MARSOC. How about some of the opportunities that exist for Marine infantrymen? There's quite a few, actually. There's opportunities to become reconnaissance Marines, they can become scout snipers, on rare occasions jump school, and even rare occasions earn their Ranger tab at Ranger School. There are also various leadership courses and follow-on training depending on the unit and the career path. Okay, now that you know a bit about the personnel within the infantry, let's go over the Marine Infantry's basic structure. Within the Marine Infantry, there are four divisions. 1st Marine Division, 2nd Marine Division, 3rd Marine Division, and 4th Marine Division. 1st and 2nd Mardiv have three Marine regiments, and 3rd and 4th Mardiv have two. Within these regiments are battalions. 1st and 2nd have nine battalions, 3rd has six, and 4th has eight. So, if you ever hear that someone was in 1-7, that means that they were in 1st Battalion, 7th Marine Regiment. The more you know. Okay, so now we're on to the battalion level. A Marine Infantry Battalion consists of three rifle companies, a weapons company, and a headquarters and service company. A rifle company will contain three rifle platoons, a weapons platoon, and a company headquarters. A platoon will have three rifle squads and a headquarters element. These rifle squads are made up of three fire teams, and these fire teams are made up of four Marines. The fire team is the most basic element of the GCE. It contains a team leader, a rifleman, an automatic rifleman, and assistant automatic rifleman. Perfect. Now you know the basic breakdown of the Marine Infantry. Let's move on to the training that one receives to become a proud infantryman in the Marine Corps. The Marines have recently updated the way they train infantrymen, with a new curriculum aimed to produce higher quality warriors. The Infantry Marine course is 14 weeks long, located at SOI West in Camp Pendleton, California, and SOI East in Camp Geiger, North Carolina. Here, the Infantry Marine course teaches students with a reduced student to instructor ratio, including more training training on various weapon systems, communications, and aquatic confidence, offering them a better understanding of their parts in the battlefield. Marines also learn combat marksmanship, convoy operations, mount, land navigation, patrolling, and tactical formations. The new and improved way of training infantry marines is just one recent change to the Marine Corps. There's even talks of condensing every Marine infantry MOS into one job, but only time will tell. All of these changes are a result of Force Design 2030. And on a final note for training, for the officer side of the house, if you want to become a Marine Infantry Officer, you'll have to go through OCS, then TBS, and then IOC, which stands for Infantry Officer Course. So, you just learned about the training one goes through to become a Marine Infantryman. But where do they go after that? Where can you be stationed in Marine Infantry? The main places you can go into Marine Infantry are at the following locations. Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, Camp Pendleton, California, 29 Palms, California, Marine Corps Base Hawaii, and Okinawa, Japan. And last but not least, what are the requirements? This is better suited for you to discuss with a recruiter, but just know that to go in with an O3 contract, you'll need to at least have the basic requirements to get into the Marine Corps. And there you go! You just learned a decent overview of the United States Marine Corps Infantry. You learned just how premier this fighting force is, and what it takes to become one of these highly respected warriors. Now go do one for Chesty. If you want to learn more about Marine Corps history, we got a book on the Marine Corps Commandant's reading list for you. The book is, First Two Fights, An Inside View of the U.S. Marine Corps, by retired Lieutenant General General Victor Krulak. He gives an unprecedented examination of the U.S. Marines, their fight on the battlefield and off, and their extraordinary esprit de corps. The link to this book will be in the description below. Marine infantry couldn't do what it does without its support, and guess who's in the action just as much as they are? Navy Hospital Corpsmen. We've done a video on them, so make sure to go check it out. If you want to learn how the Marine Infantry compares to the Army Infantry, we highly recommend you go watch that video. The links to these videos are in the description below. Well, that is the down and dirty of the United States Marine Infantry. If you learned something from this video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. As always, thank you for watching. Do you even want to be here? A big shout out to all of our YouTube members and our patrons over at our Patreon. Thank you all so much for taking the extra step in supporting our channel. It is much appreciated. If you'd like to be featured on a general discharge video, consider joining our membership with the link in the description or the join button to the left of the subscribe button, or go give our Patreon a look and join the team. Here's Nick Nausea. All your friends are subscribing to general discharge and you don't even want to be here.